Jump back in. So, get, sorry about that. Yeah. We do see that you clipped it, Mr. DJ, whatever. Oh, Chocobo, I apologize. <laughs> uh, we did see you clipped it, Chocobo. We do appreciate that. And uh, we'll be moving further uh, further in the uh, the singles area. We're going to have Gale and Light. Wait, so you, you clipped the Ryu Shoryu kid. You also got a clip that PK Flash into Shield Break. Because that's going to make it into a bunch of... Uh, like highlight reels and compilation videos. I would have made it to a highlight reel had he got the punish. I feel like once you once you don't get the punch on it, it's just like you're, you're right, you're right. You're once right. you don't get the punch, it's like all right. G Gio ruined it by saving Jace. Gio yeah. Ruined it. yeah. Gio saved Jace from a highlight video. Yeah. Remember that. Remember that. He has to be eternally grateful now. <laughs> he has to be eternally grateful. I would worship that man every time I would see him. Yes, the Gio cam. I'm happy. But he's not going back to bed. Who's he going? Or is he going back to bed? Uh, probably, let's see, Corrin? Yeah. Oh, my God. Mel Corrin. Draw Corrin. Someone <laughs> draw Corrin right now. That's the Gio cam. Okay, I'm going to go Corrin. He's been working on this character a whole bunch. We've seen him in doubles use it. We've seen him also use it somewhat in singles as well. Yep. Corrin's a very good character, very strong character. Um, I'm really trying not to say uh, gender qualities here because male corn is an abomination, once again, represented by Satan. Yes, female corn is definitely the better of the two. Yeah. It's like male we, we fit and uh, female we fit. I mean, those, those are, the, the, both of those are okay, but like. No, females are. Like, if there's a. Oh my god, okay, enough about that. My uh, man definitely. He's making a question his sexuality right now. He's making a question himself as a person right now. He spiked him into the, in the depths. So when, when me and Crispy commentate, we always like to call Light the Lantern the speedrunner of Smash 4 mm -hmm. because my man actually speedruns through most of the bracket. So right now, Gyo, somebody I didn't think he was going to speedrun through, kind of getting speedrun right now. Yeah, it's kind of getting the work from, uh, of course, uh, Light the Lantern. It's not impossible for Gyo to do this. Gyo is, as I said, man, just a, he's a higher epic. I cannot even say the word. He's a higher echelon. Yeah, higher, higher echelon of a player. He's very, very good, but right now, okay, barely sticks out of there. Tries to get the Dragon Fang. That was actually a good move, but just a little bit too late. Oh. All right, going for a little bit too much there, but he had the stock lead, so, I mean, it's okay. Oh, do it. Yep. wow. That was so smart by Gio to punish the, just the jab on shield with death. Dead. Yep. yep. Right. And Light's going to be taking game one. But yeah, you did make a good point. Uh, Light is very good at this game. He does kind of run through people sometimes. It does take... It's kind of weird. Uh, it's kind of weird to see somebody like Light just like... Even top type of players, he just kind of does this too. Like people like Gio, people like Austin, he just kind of bullies them sometimes. Yeah. He, he does speed run a lot of people. Like The thing is, Light has that play style where he's like hyper aggressive, he's all up in your face, he makes you feel uncomfortable, he smothers you, pretty much. And for the most part, like when you're trying to combat light, there's only two options. You either gotta cool him off by like playing super defensive, super lame, super campy, and, or you outdo light by doing light stuff better than he does. You gotta smother him back. Yeah, Don't yeah. let him play his game, and you gotta make him feel uncomfortable. And we're definitely seeing that right now. My man Gio has been all up in my man's face. He's not giving him the chance to breathe. Yeah. And as you mentioned before, I do kind of feel like that's kind of the way to be light. But light, you know, he's PR for a reason. He can definitely change up styles. He can definitely be more aware. He can definitely stay back a whole yeah. bunch. It just depends on sometimes he makes you play his game, or he, he can change his game whenever. Yeah. Because light presses a lot of buttons, but he presses them exactly when he needs to press them. That's not going to be deaf. It shouldn't be deaf. Good DI. Good yeah. DI from Gil. Wow, my man almost got sent to the Shadow Realm right there. Good stuff. Gil's trying to make a statement, man. He wants to get his pride back. Yeah. And so far, he's been winning neutral a whole bunch. He's got, he has a professional lead anyway. Uh, now it's gone. He has to, he has to get back, man. He can't... Oh, oh my, my god! god! The edge guard was absolutely proficient, perfect by um, Light the Lantern. Once again, my man stays in YouTube clips. He definitely, he definitely shows the hard work. He's getting bit up by himself. That's very important to note here too that Light actually has a corn as well. He's considered one of the best corns here yeah. in Texas. So he's definitely not somebody who doesn't know how to play this character against his character. Oh my gosh! Send him to the Shadow Run once again! I was At JB2! Sorry, we're a little bit distracted out here, but Light the Lantern once again making short work of his opponent. Gale, nothing to be ashamed about, but man, that was, that was a little bit tough. You want to talk about speedruns? I literally turned around to talk to so uh, Smash Dad. For one second, conversation ended. I look back and I see Gale explode. I'm going to be honest. That happened one of my sets too.
Yep. Where like you guys were talking about something else, and then like I killed somebody like at zero or some something like that, and nobody acknowledged. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. me and uh, crispy, we got distracted. After. Yeah. We were checking bracket. Yeah. We looked back, and I know now it was a sick footstool after Frost yeah. was kind of giving you the work, yeah. but you footstooled him and killed him at zero. We looked back and we're like, oh, he probably just like shore you him or something. It's yeah. fine. But no, sorry for missing that. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Things happen, of course. Crispy back. Speaking of the man who robbed me of my special moment. <laughs> Huh? No, it's because we were checking bracket one week, and as we were checking bracket, he footstooled Frost at zero, killing him, and we didn't pop off for that because we missed it. Yeah, I'm kidding, of course. I'm not really, um, not really mad about it. I'm just kind of bringing it up because the same scenario actually did did happen here. Alex came over here, and said something to us, yeah. and then like as soon as we turned over and looked, my man Gio had been uh, sent to the shadow realm. 